Hi, I'm Steve. I first met Tony about three and a half years ago. I was getting married, I went to look at the cars. Got on really well with Tony. Next thing you know, I'm driving for him. Majority of the, the drivers here, 85% of them are all ex police ex-forces. My background's the fire service. I worked for 30 years at Manchester Fire and Rescue Service. And a lot of the lads driving for Tony are again ex-servicemen. Good, trustworthy group of blokes, um, very smart and they can follow orders very well. They're all characters in their own right anyway, which you need if you're in the people business. The job's about working with people. I love working with people, but it's also about trust. The bride and groom put their trust in us on the day. I love that responsibility and we deliver on that trust. What's behind our service keeps us in front. It's the quality of the guys, the quality of the vehicles as you've seen here today. The job's about looking after the bride on the day, trying to make her day run as smooth as possible. As we pull up, you can see the bride's face, and it's then that they realise they're getting close. You see the change in the face, the excitement, and we're there again to make their day run as smoothly as possible. We like to treat the bride and groom like royalty on the day. I was treated the same way on my wedding day. It's a brilliant feeling. At Hogan's, that's what we do. It's a few months ago now since Laura brought her fiancé down to see us at Tony's. They came down to one of our open evenings that happened every Tuesday night come rain or shine. Tony opens his doors every Tuesday night where people come down to view the cars and most importantly, they meet us, the drivers. The Bofords are probably the most popular cars. They're stylish, they're classy and they take brilliant photographs. But the brides nowadays are going for the larger vehicles, the seven-seater Imperial because we do do a number of trips. I remember Laura fell in love with the Regent straight away, and the rest they say is history. The last job of the day starts when we're there to meet them after the ceremony. You usually find at this point the pressure's off, they're a lot more relaxed, and there's a lot of hugs and kisses. From there, it's just about getting them to the reception, Wishing them all the best, sending them on the way. Job done. It's not a bad job, is it? It's always the teamwork that uh, makes it play. We've got a very strong team, all different skills, all different characters, but it just gels really, really well. Most of what we do, we can't do without having a laugh and a giggle. And that comes across in the cars, the vehicles, meeting the people. It's a really, really good, fun job. Thank you very much indeed to all you for supporting us over the last 12 months. Thank you for all the brides and grooms for their votes.